All right, uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It's Mr. Shajoy here. Welcome to Back to Basics. What we are doing now, basically, we are doing our, you know, sine, cosine, and area rule. So we are looking at our 2D and 3D shapes and to, you know, try and solve these questions and see in terms of how do we go about when solving them, right? So this is going to be our KZN uh, paper. This is uh, was written 2023, right? So now this was the final exam from KZN. Now, let's see in terms of how can we solve for our 2D and our 3D shapes. Now, firstly, uh, let's look at 7.1. Now they are saying ABC has what has, uh, what you are having your AB, which is 11. You are having your BC, which is six centimeter and your AC, which is uh, your 15 centimeter. Now they want you to determine what is going to be the angle of your B, right? So they want us to find out what is going to be the angle of B. Now, in order for us to find this angle of B, right, the easier thing that you can use, we can use our cosine rule. Remember, because in finding the cosine rule, you need to have the side, the side, and all the sides, right? So which means it's the opposite corresponding side and all the sides are, right? So which means now, if you are looking, uh, if you are using the, the cosine rule, we are going to say, look, our AC squared, our AC squared, which is this, is going to be equals to our AB squared plus our BC squared, subtract your 2 into AB, uh, multiply by BC, and uh, this is going to be cause of your angle B, right? Then now, what is going to be our AC? Remember, you already have your AC. Your AC is given by 15, so this is 15 squared, E is equals to, what is your AB? Your AB is given by 11 squared plus, uh, this is going to be your 6 squared, subtract 2, which is 11, multiply by 6. Uh, this is cos of, now what is going to be this angle? This is cos of B. So now, when you want to make our B to be the subject of the formula, what is it that you are going to do? You are going to say now cos of B. Uh, is going to be same as what now you take this one this side so this is going to be same as uh what this is same as your what now when you take this one this side now this is going to be same as your 11 squared plus your 6 squared uh, then this is subtracting 15 squared divide by what divide by uh this is 2 multiplied by 11 times what times 6 Oh, it's okay. So this is going to be uh when you are looking at your cost. Then what is the answer that you are going to have here? So this is same as what? When you say cost of your B. Now, when you do this, what is it that you are going to have here? The answer that you are going to have, this is same as your 17. Uh, over what? This is same as your 17, negative 17 over, over your 33. Right, this is negative 17 over your 33. So now when you do it like that, so which means your cos of uh or rather your b, not your cos of b, but your b is going to be same as what? Uh, it's going to be same as shift fact of this, right? So this is going to be your b is going to be same as your cos of uh you know uh you, your negative 17 over 33. So now what is then going to be the which means your b is going to be same as your uh your 58 degrees. This is M as negative 58, right? This is M as negative 58, 99 degrees, right? Which is same as 59. So what is it that you're going to do now from here? Because this is negative, you are getting the ref angle. So when you say plus 108 degrees, the answer that you're going to get here, this is going to be same as 121,01 degrees. That's good. So basically, that's going to be the angle that you are going to have here. So which means the angle here, it's going to be 121, uh, comma, what, comma, zero, one degrees. Are we together? So that's going to be your angle of, uh, you know, uh, the angle that you are going to have for your B, right? Hopefully this makes sense. Let's look at your 7.2. Now let's make up our space and look at our 7.2, right? Uh, now in 7.2, what is it that they are looking for here? Now in 7.2, they are saying here, uh, now, uh, in the diagram below, P, Q, R, S, and S are point on the same, uh, you know, uh, vertical plane. The angle of elevation of R 
from Q is uh, alpha, and the angle of elevation of Q from S is what? Uh, is theta. Now, PS is given by X, and your, uh, your Q, RS is given by your beta. Now, what is the first thing that you're going to do now in solving this question? All right? Now, I want us to firstly, you know, uh, they want us to solve what is going to be our SR, right? So, they're looking for this bigger side. Oh, okay. So, they are looking for this bigger side. So, now, what is the first thing that I want us to do? Look, I want us to firstly focus in triangle, right? Let's say we are focusing in triangle QRS, QRS, right? Uh, let me just, uh, this is Q, this is your R, uh, this is your S, right? This right triangle, right? And see in terms of what is it that we can do here? Let's say we are focusing here. Now, what is the first thing that you can do now from here? So you are going to say, your angle Q1, can you see that your angle Q1, since these lines are parallel, your angle Q1 is going to be same as your theta. Can you see that, right? So which means now you're going to start and say your angle Q1 is going to be equal to your angle, uh, your theta. And the reason here, this is going to be alternating uh, angles. Why is it alternating? Because they gave us that we are having parallel lines, right? Because you are having parallel lines, right? Uh, you are having parallel lines because they told us this is what is parallel to this one, right? So, which means even here it's theta. So, which means now the, the entire angle here, your angle Q, right? Your angle, uh, your angle RQS, right? So, which means your angle uh, QSR, right? QSR, or rather your angle, uh, yes, your angle Q, uh, S, or rather, yes, your QSR is going to be same as what? Now, if this is uh, this particular angle, what is it that you're going to have? So the angle, this one, your RQS, let's start with your RQS. Your RQS uh, now is given by what? It's actually your alpha plus what? It's alpha plus your theta, right? Your RQS, this angle here, it's your alpha plus your theta. It gives you this particular angle, right? Now, what is it then that you are going to do now from here? Uh, so let's see. So that's going to be uh, that angle. Now, uh, let's start now. So when we say now, if let's say we want to apply our sign rule, right? Let's say we want to apply our sign rule. How can we apply a sign rule, right? Remember for your sign rule, you need to have what you have. You need to have an angle and an opposite side. You also need to have this and also the opposite side, right? You are also having your beta, so which means you need to also have what is going to be your QS, right? So let's say let's say we start by finding out what is going to be your QS. Now that we have this one, right? Let's find out what is going to be our QS. Oh, it's okay. So now, uh, or let's say now from here, this is going to be what your QS. Your QS here is going to be same as what? If you are looking for QS, you are going to use your trigonometrical ratios, right? Because if you are looking for your side QS, this is going to be same as what? You are having this angle, which is going to be your adjacent over what? Over your hypotenuse, right? So it's going to be your Q, your cos. So you can say, uh, you are going to say your cos of theta, right? Your cos of theta here is going to be close to, uh, remember, it's uh, your adjacent, which is going to be your PS, and your PS is given by X, this side, right? It's X. And your what? Divide by your QS, uh, divide by your QS. Oh, it's okay. Now, because we are uh, looking to make our QS the subject of the formula, your QS is actually going to be same as what? Your QS is going to be same as your X. Uh, rather, it's going to be same as X over cos uh, theta. Oh, it's okay. So that's going to be this one. Now, let me just make up my space now here. Let me just make up... Uh, uh, no. So, which means here you are having your theta. So, you have this angle, you have this angle, you have the corresponding side, which means you have the full pair because this side, we said this is x over your cos of theta, right? And now you are looking for this one, right? So, you are going to use your sign rule because according to sign rule, what is it that you need to have? When you want to use sign rule, you need to have the angle and the corresponding side. You need to also have the angle and also the corresponding side, right? So, now... You are going to say your sign of your uh, your Q uh, S R or rather your S Q R right your S Q R or your R 
RQS. Your RQS, right? Your RQS uh, over your what? This is RQS over your RS, right? Over your RS. Now, but because we are looking for the site, right? Because we are looking for the site, we can literally still just start with the site, right? Let's say we start with the site. Now, our site is what is your RS. So, you are going to say your RS or your SR, your SR over. This is going to be sine of angle. What? This is sine of angle. Uh, this is Q or rather RQS, right? RQS is going to be close to. Now, what is it that you're having here? This is going to be your uh, your QS. Uh, over what this is qs or uh, this is qs over your sign of your r right that's going to be your sign rule now when you're applying the sign rule now what is it that you're going to have there this is same as your sr over now what is this your rqs your angle rqs now remember that we've already found that your angle rqs is going to be sine plus it's going to be sine of your alpha plus your theta, right? Because that's this angle, right? E is equals to what is your QS? Now, this is your QS. Your QS is given by X over cos of theta divide, or rather, this is before we divide, we must start by QS, right? So this was same as what? Oh, yes. Uh, the length, actually, yes, we are correct. This is same as X over uh, cos of theta divide by this is going to be divided by what sine of what is the angle here that's your beta oh it's okay that's your angle beta now let's see let's say we want to then now cross multiply here and see in terms of what is it that you are going to have here right now let's see so what you're having here this is actually same as your sr is equals to now when you uh multiply this this is same as x over uh, this is same as your, this is same as x over r, let's, this is same as x over cos of theta. Now, let's say I want to change this division sign to a multiplication sign, right? So this is going to be x over cos of theta. Uh, let's start, let's just divide first the x over cos of theta, divide by sine of beta. This is multiplied, then everything is going to be multiplied by what? Sine of your alpha plus your what plus of your uh plus your theta right now so what is it that you are then going to do now from here so uh the the thing that you are going to have here which means now when you are multiplying so let's look at this when you are multiplying here so this is same as over b right so which means actually now this is same as x over your cos of theta uh is multiplied by your sine of your alpha a plus what plus your theta then now this is going to be divided right this is going to be divided by your sign of what your sign of your beta now and when you are doing like that now what is it that you are going to do now from here let's see what is it that they are looking for basically that's what they are looking for so we can just go uh, we can just uh you know multiply everything now from here this is same as x uh multiply by sign of your alpha plus your theta then this is going to be divided by what this is divided by now the base remember it's cos right you are having cos of your theta multiplied by sine of your beta right so that's basically going to be this particular angle right uh so which means your sr is actually still given by this which they wanted us to prove right hopefully this makes sense to you now you know uh then you are in a uh, you are in a position that you can answer all of these types of questions whenever you are given. Thank you very much.